Hey, Aquarius. Some sage to cleanse the space. Three chimes to bring in positive energy. This is a general collective reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. If you have Aquarius anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. I do believe that tarot card readings are a wonderful way to vet our intuition and help us determine what is real and what is not? What we are aligning with, is it serving us or is it not serving us? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the Aquarius. Aquarius, welcome to Remedies Alchemy and Tarot. My name is Greta. I am an intuitive tarot card reader. I do look at your horoscope. I look at the sun, the moon placement, and other planetary placements to get an idea of the energy that is surrounding you at this time. But first and foremost, I do trust my intuition. It is my intention that you learn to trust and verify your intuition as well. I do believe that tarot cards are a wonderful way to vet our intuition. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the collective of... Thank you, Spirit. Aquarius, the foundation, the basis of your reading this week is the Page of Cups. High ideas, big ideas. You know, Aquarius, Pluto is getting ready to enter your sign, and we kind of talked about this in last week's reading, but you're wanting to break the mold. You're wanting to break free of old habits, old, old ideas, old desires, and really not be captive by any and reinvent yourself. And that is driven by the King of Pentacles. You have big ideas, big plans on becoming wealthy, on becoming rich. There's exciting changes here for you, uh, Aquarius. Very exciting changes coming in for you. And let's see how those play that plays into the rest of your tarot cards this week, Aquarius. In your public life, and this would be your work, your career, education, business, um, finance, or money, we start off with the Six of Pentacles, fairness and balance. And again, as we entered into the fall equinox last week, the fall equinox is about bringing things into balance. It's about the universe. It's about nature. It's about the rhythm, the cycles of life, bringing things back into balance. There's been a perceived unfairness here where someone is wanting to use worldly things or use a situation to get one up on someone followed by the knight of pentacles and it's about taking a step back and looking and evaluating the knight of pentacles is the only knight whose steed in the tarot is not in action. He's taken a pause and he's taken that pause to give, uh, to have an evaluation, to take stock, to take weight of. Followed by the two of cups, which is a new business relationship, a new business partnership, a new coworker, exciting changes, exciting changes that bring about manifestation of achieving your goals. What is this? You know, Aquarius, in your public life, in your professional life, you are as busy 
as ever with your career or with school or with whatever this partnership, whatever this relationship is, it has you being very busy. And you know, this busyness is going to continue well into the new year. And it is going to generate the wealth. It is going to generate the um, success that you're looking for. But do not be surprised if you find yourself the only one that's in the office. Do not be surprised. It's almost like You've waited for things to get busy. You've waited for this partnership. You've waited for this. And now that it's coming in and now that it's taking action, it's almost like you're left holding the bag. You're left being the only one doing the work. You're, you're doing the late hours. You're the only one in the office. Um, you're the only one that is taking calls or answering calls. You know, while... Uh, are going to be attending to like their private life, their personal matters. They're being sidetracked. They're being distracted by other things other than work, by other things other than the task at hand. But don't be discouraged. I think that that is what that um, unfairness is, that lack of balance. It's like you're having to pick up the slack for everyone Why everyone else is attending to matters that really don't pertain to business or really don't pertain to school or pertain to work. Don't get discouraged. You are building equity and you're building this equity in yourself. And it is going to pay off with a raise or a new position or even a promotion down the line. But what is important here, Aquarius, is that you be patient and that you know that this is part of the process for you to achieve or for you to create that wealth that you are wanting to create. And in your private life, and this would be your love, home, family, and friends, we start off with the Knight of Wands, taking action, following our desires, following our, de following our desires, following our passions. The Three of Cups, the celebration of the harvest. Again, celebrating your successes with those that are closest to you. The Page of Swords. Someone's words are not matching their actions. Someone's words are not matching their actions. And again, you're wanting to break free of old patterns, old patterns of behavior, old cycles. You're recognizing old cycles and how these old cycles are not aligning with what it is that you are passionate about or what it is that you are desiring. Right for you, Aquarius, the Ace of Swords, which is wisdom, the gift of wisdom. And so there is a difference between knowledge and wisdom. Knowledge is that we have the, or have gathered the information. It's like the book smart. But you know, that knowledge means absolutely nothing unless we have the wisdom to apply it. And so it looks like you have the wisdom that is needed to apply to this situation to make those exciting changes that you're wanting to bring into your private life. And that aligns with this week's solar eclipse as again, it has you wanting to break free and to get out or to break out of your comfort zone. Let your heart 
lead the way in this Aquarius you are on the right path messages from spirit Aquarius we start with the high is a limit there is nothing that you cannot achieve the seven of swords it's going to require a plan it's going to require a plan. It's also going to require that you play into your strengths. You have not been putting yourself in a position where you can use your strength or you can demonstrate your strength. Followed by the King of Wands, following your passion, follow your intuition. You may find yourself having a short fuse. Maybe you're a little bit more impatient or a little more intolerant than you usually are. And there has been a lot on your mind. And you see you have been making um, monumental inner changes. And when we make those monumental inner changes, we can expect to be on a short fuse. We can expect to be intolerant. It's like we're processing, we're processing. We don't have time or uh, space for that outside information. Give yourself some breathing room here, Aquarius. Take or make time to meditate, maybe with a nice, fall nature walk to help sort out those inner changes that have been occurring. 